All right, guys, so what is an RS2 Silverado? That seems to be a very common question that is asked in the comments. Um, I thought they were pretty well known. Uh, apparently, they're still, oh, look, a Monarch Butterfly. How sick is that? Oh, it's awesome. I haven't seen one since, like, actually, like, elementary school. Well, that's a good sign. I hope there's a lot of them. We need them. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought these trucks were pretty well known. And um, apparently, they're not, you know? And you guys want to know what an RST Silverado is? Well, uh, RST uh, Regency was, well, it's actually pioneered by Regency, Regency Conversions. They decided to make uh, another RST variant in 2004. This was 2005. So how many were made? Uh, it's about 300 of each color were made. Uh, color combos were, you know, red with black stripes, black with red stripes, white with red stripes. And there were some oddball colors like white with black stripes and like silver birch with black stripes. And they, they, these were mostly all regular cab 4.8 manuals. Uh, some of them were 5.3 automatics, and they did make some extended cabs, which were all 5.3 autos. But you know, what exactly was included in the package? Well, first I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Which one is the real RST? Left or right? Are they both real RSTs? All right. The answer is the red one's OEM factory RST. The white one, I cloned myself. Uh, my uncle bought the red one brand new back in 2005. And um, so are, you know, uh, people are like, oh, like, are these trucks numbered? They're not numbered. Um, think of it as like, uh, kind of like a Saline or a Roush with the Mustangs, except those cars are numbered, but these aren't. Uh, you know, basically a base Silverado goes over to Regency Conversions factory and uh, they, you know, trick it out, I guess you can say. And then they sell it at a higher cost at the dealership. And there were like, upper 30s mid 40s and i think like 37,000 was the mean price uh for like a 4.8 manual and you know some dealers are having trouble selling them so they're getting marked down like low 30s i think a couple of people people got like a really good deal at like 27 or 28 um but yeah so if you look up the vin it's gonna come up as a regular silver auto it's not numbered whatever right that's why i cloned it and i didn't feel bad about it but all right Let's see what's included in the RST conversion. So on the front end, what they did is they added that lower air dam with the fog lights and the billet grills. As you can tell, the main billet grill, it's not over the honeycomb like a lot of the aftermarkets are. This one, they like made actual brackets for it. It's pretty legit. Uh, I plastic dipped them, but I'm gonna get, uh, take it off, go back to billet for a little bit. Um, they also added the RST Regency windshield decal, as well as the stripes. We're originally matte black, I made them gloss. I don't have the OEM RST wheels. They're in my uh, storage unit. So I, I obviously upgraded to the Cosmes. But um, yeah, they also added this uh, 14 inch brake conversion. So what it is, it's um, either got a bare two piece rotor, which I have, or SBCC one piece rotor. Uh, so it came with a bracket, a 14 inch rotor, and uh, it used your OEM brake caliper. It just spaced it out and uh, then they added caliper covers. Breaks pretty well. As you can see, it doesn't use the entire surface area on the rotor because it's a stock caliper. And then uh, they painted the, um, the mirrors, of course. And they have like billet handles, which is pretty cool. And all OEM RSTs have really heavy doors. Uh, something I've noticed, I've had two of these. This is in a black GMC. So now we move on to the interior. I added the Escalade handles, but on the door panels, I did this thing where you got black carpet, you got, you know, the, the black cover there, and then you got these hydro dipped window switches along with this like leather, like add on on the door panels. You also got the black leather with red stitching on the dash. And then obviously the seats were, you know, black leather with a suede in the middle. It said either Regency or RST on your headrest. And you got this middle uh, jump seat, which has these things right here. It doesn't fold down because um, it's probably a base truck I'm assuming they started with. There's a shifter. You got billet pedals, black carpet, and um, hydro dipped um, dash bezel. Oh, the ignition's on, that's no good. And then you also got the gauges. You know, you got like the chrome surrounds with the, uh, you know, like aluminum gauge faces, red needles. It says RST Regency on them. That's basically all it is for the interior. Very, very nice interior to live with. Um, 
This is pretty well taken care of on the interior. Now we're gonna move on to the back. You also had four uh, big rotors in the back if you had an 04. All other years had drums. This is an 05, so we're gonna move on to the rear. So on the rear, they added this like ducktail style wing um, with the uh, you know the stripes and uh, that decal right there, and then you also got the roll pan with the uh, infused uh, caliper, sorry, uh, exhaust exits. Then you got those little billet trims around it. That middle one's very like hard to find because they don't make those roll pans anymore. But yeah, that's uh, what an OEM RST comes with. It's a couple things I'm forgetting. It came with like a f off brand Flowmaster muffler. Um, and then obviously, uh, oh, I gotta pop the hood for you guys. It also came with a ground force 1.33 uh, drop, which had front let me see if i can get it yeah i'm not gonna be able to get that it had front lowering springs um and then rear hangers which gave you a two inch drop and had the shackle set at the one inch setting so then i put it down to the two inch setting so it's at a two four drop right now white truck is filthy excuse me for that and then under the hood we have uh you either had a true flow intake pipe with a oem airbox or a k and n intake uh when i got it from my uncle he had it supercharged um i took it off at one point cammed it and i added the specter intake uh pretty cool pretty chill they also did the uh, they painted the engine cover they gave you a jba a spark plug wires and jba shorty headers um so you got that going on and yeah uh that's what you got under the hood so now let's look at the clone all right um Let's see what I did. Obviously, we got the windshield decal. We have the lower valence with the fogs and everything, right? Everything's functional. We don't have the stripes because we did a cal hood. Um, the brakes aren't there because I originally did Brembo's, uh, but now they're off because the truck's getting sold. We have the same door panels. We have... Yeah, sorry. I mean, I, mean, I didn't mean door panels. I meant door handles. But, you know, we got the door panels as well. We've got the hydro dip window switches. We've got the black carpet, the OEM RST uh, carpet as well. We have the correct seats, but these have RST on the headrest. Oh, I forgot to mention the steering wheel. It's the black leather steering wheel, the red stitching. We have the hydro dipped dash bezel as well. We have the correct gauges. Same thing over there. We even have the, the, the grab handle. That's also correct. And um, now we're gonna move on to the back. And as you know, I had Brembo's on his truck, so it was slightly more legit, to be honest. And then we have the same wing, no stripes, because we're not running stripes up front. The same roll pan with all the correct trims. So then ask yourself, what is the difference, right? Um, honestly, none, uh, to be honest. Uh, that's why I didn't feel bad at all about making this clone, because it has the, all the OEM RST parts. It is missing the exhaust tips because it's too low to like clear the pipes. And it is missing like the billet uh, brake pedal cover because I, I can't find one for an automatic. But yeah, um, yeah, that's what an RST truck is. And uh, who was the guy? Uh, Joe Foss or jo John Moss? John Moss. Um, he is the one that I think designed this along with like Chip Foos. There was a lot of coll collabs on this truck. Um, the John Moss edition RST is white with... Uh, Orange stripes, I believe. Uh, a lot of people ask me where you get these RST parts. You can get them from Unique Concepts. They're very, very expensive. The front alone ran me like 350 for the um, yeah, ran me like 350 for the lower valence, like 150 for the grill, like another 150 for the fogs. It's not including installs, not including anything. Plus, like 250 for shipping. Like their prices are ridiculous. If you want to make a clone of these trucks, it's gonna be either a really hard to find all the parts. Or B, it's going to be expensive AF. Um, and people are like, a lot of people in the RST community get all hung up. Like, oh, is it a real RST though? Well, to me, if you have all the parts, it doesn't matter, dude. You got an RST. Because I've seen a lot of OEM RSTs that are out there for sale. Or people are like, you know, posting them up all over the place. And they are missing so many parts that honestly, it's almost kind of hard to consider them an RST. You know, they take off the stripes. They take off the grill. Sometimes they even go with the OEM front bumper. And then, you know, all they have from RST is like literally like the wing and the bricks 
in the interior. So it's like, all right, well, I mean, I guess it's an RST, but not really. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, uh, that's what an RST Regency truck is. They made it for 2004 to 2006 for the NBS, which is this body style. And then they made, I think, 07, 08, maybe a couple of 09s. And that was about it. And they went bankrupt when the housing market crashed and all that stuff happened. Um, yeah, how much do these trucks cost? Average price seems to be around 12 grand, maybe. And that's even with 120, 130,000 miles. Unless you get one that's been up and down the block, completely beat up. You might be able to get one for like eight or nine K. Uh, that or if you find someone who really doesn't know what they have or just doesn't care about money, then you might be able to get a low mileage one for like six, seven grand. That's very rare. If you see one of those, I'd scoop it up. You can make money on it. But yeah, that's my short educational video of uh, what an RST truck is. But uh, hopefully I answered all your questions. But thanks for watching, guys. Um, and I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah. And like you guys keep asking how it sounds. So this is how it sounds at idle. Sorry, I need to tighten something up. It sounds pretty Gucci. There you go. I'll do a more in-depth video for you guys.